Hi guys. Most people don't consider how the dating and social customs of a society are intricately linked to the prevailing technology and state of the economy at that time. Take for example the invention of birth control in the 1960s, which only appears as a breakthrough in technology, but ended up completely changing sex and relationships forever. I believe there's an even bigger societal change in the last few decades, and it happened in 1971 under President Nixon. The Nixon shock, as it was known, was the U.S. government's decision to stop the conversion of dollars to gold. Without going too deep into the economics of it, I want you to simply think of it as the moment the U.S. decided that dollars wouldn't be exchanged for gold anymore. Before this, if you had dollars, you could easily turn them into gold. But after Nixon's decision, this stopped. The dollar's worth wasn't tied to gold. It became what we know as fiat currency, just paper money without gold backing it up. This change was huge because it meant that the government could print more dollars without needing gold in reserve. More money got printed, and as a result, the dollar's value dropped. Imagine having a rare collectible, then suddenly it's not rare anymore. The value goes down. This led to inflation, meaning things got more expensive over time. This inflation wasn't just about prices going up. It had very deep impacts affecting everything from society to personal aspects like relationships and marriage. More money floating around, but each dollar is worth less, creating a new financial reality that everyone had to adapt to. Now, the biggest change this had was on the viability of single income households. While one income could support a family of four in the 1960s, the rise in prices due to inflation forced more women to enter into the workforce over the next decades. Here's a statistic to put this in perspective. In 1968, only 25 percent of American couples were both working. Now that number has jumped to 61 percent. Women's presence in the workforce has skyrocketed. They made up just about a third of the workforce in 1970, but as of 2023, they're half. This shift isn't just about numbers, it's about a societal transformation. Women stepping into the workforce in mass numbers reshaped family dynamics, financial strategies, and the very fabric of the workforce. But here's the crazy part. What happens when you double the number of people working? The value of each person's work goes down. Imagine having too many sellers in a market, but not enough buyers. What happens? prices drop. It's the same with work. More workers means more competition for jobs, leading to lower wages. It's the simple economics of supply and demand. And that's exactly what has happened in America. Two income households have gone from being a choice to being a necessity, while single income households have become a luxury for people who earn enough to cover what two incomes used to. Once both partners in a household started working, people noticed something. Their life and financial security didn't really get better. And in some cases it got worse. Why? Because they were stuck. They needed both incomes just to stay afloat. Inflation had risen so much that there was no turning back to the old ways. Imagine the impact of this happening to millions of households across the country. If a couple today had kids, it's virtually impossible for one parent to stay home with them for very long. We have a new generation spending their most informative years in daycare centers while their parents are occupied with dead-end jobs they can't leave. Coupled with student loans and mortgages, most people can barely scrape by in this inflated economy, even with both partners working. The sad realization is that this work and hustle culture has chipped away at the things that are the most valuable because they're the things you can't get back time and memories. Parents are spending less time with their kids, meaning they're creating less memories. Couples are spending less time with each other, meaning they're creating less memories. And children are being raised on what they see on Netflix and TikTok without the parents being able to find enough time to teach and inspire them because they're trying to juggle everything. It's so eye-opening to realize how big the efforts of major political and economic policies can be. They can touch every part of our lives in ways we might not even expect them to. But if you can arm yourself with an understanding of what's happening and what has happened, you'll have a better idea of what to do. So here's my words of advice. Don't let work and money overshadow the priceless things in life. Remember to create memories with your partner, your family and friends, your kids. These are the things that you will never be able to get back. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.